Hello and welcome to our third video on the bungee jump question. This is the third and hopefully hardest uh, example question we're going to do involving a bungee jumper. And it's actually going to be so... Well, the mathematics that I'm going to use at the end, I'd, I'm not even sure they're covered in physics. They're absolutely covered in further and specialist. Uh, but maybe not in physics. That's right, I don't think in physics you're required to be able to solve a quadratic equation. You're required to be able to find, say, 64 is equal to x squared, but not 64 plus 2x is equal to x squared. Does that have a solution? I think so. Um, but we're going to do this question on the, under the assumption that you have done a little bit of methods uh, so you will be able to solve the end of it. Methods or further, I should say. So the conditions of this question. The bungee jumper's head finishes 42 metres below the platform. The unstretched length of the bungee cord there is 25 metres. And as this person leaves the platform, they actually jump 1.2 metres into the air. They're, they're a daredevil. They're keen to get as much flight time as possible. And the K value of this particular bungee cord is 500 newtons per metre. And you think, gosh, well, we've given a lot of information. We have the final height, we have the initial height, we have the K value. What's missing? We don't know the mass of this bungee jumper. And we're going to figure out their mass. So we've covered this now twice. This is the third time covering it. By the time the bungee jumper reaches this point here, they've got zero kinetic energy, and all their gravitational potential energy has become the spring potential. So the first thing to do is to figure out the change in gravitational potential energy from the highest point here where they reach their max height to the lowest point down here, assuming they have very little horizontal velocity at this point there. So if their center of mass is here, and this person is already two meters tall, and their center of mass is therefore one meter above their feet in, in our scenario, that means their center of mass at that instant there is a total of 2.2 meters above the platform. Whereas down here, their center of mass is a total of 41 meters below the platform. So height 2 equals negative 41 meters. That means this person has fallen from the top of their little leap here to the bottom of their bungee fall. They have fallen a total of 43.2 meters. So delta H is equal to 43.2. And their change in gravitational potential energy, sorry, delta H is negative 43.2, is mg negative 43.2 g is equal to 10 in year 12 physics. g is equal to 10. So the change in gravitational potential comes to a total of neg negative 432 multiplied by the mysterious mass. Now we can figure out, it should be obvious that we can figure out the, oh the person's two meters tall, here, here, and here. We should be able to figure out the extension of that bungee cord. And that's the difference between that level there and that level down there. This foot here where the bungee cord connects is 42 take away 2 meters below the platform. So this extended length here, the stretched length of the bungee cord, is 40 meters, whereas here it's given to us as 25 meters. So from this we should be able to figure out that extension, that length, 
just in there. And that's the difference between 40 and 25. It's 15 meters. So the energy stored in the spring relies on K and X. X is equal to 15. K is equal to 500. So we find the energy stored in that spring 0.5 times 500 times 15 squared comes to 56,250. That is the mass. Sorry, that is the energy which is stored in the spring. Since the person down here is stationary, that must also equal the change or the magnitude of the change in the gravitational potential. So 56,250 is equal to, I'm going to get rid of the negative here, 432 times the mass. So if I divide 56,250 by 432, I should get the mass of the person, and it comes to a total of 130.2 kilograms. Is that obese? Oh, it depends on the height. In most, for most normal heights, that's obese. Uh, that did not involve the very difficult maths that I talked about. This next question will. So say I'm using the same bungee. Everything is exactly the same. I will, however, get rid of that jump. The person no longer jumps into the air. But this time, I'll give the mass. And the mass can be 85 kilograms. What changes is the final height that their head extends to? So we want to know that height there. How far below the platform does their head get? The same rules still apply. The change in gravitational potential is equal to the change in spring potential. So M G will say the height they fall is equal to we'll say the height the cent their center of mass falls. Yes, the height their center of mass falls is actually also equal to H. So we can say Mg H is equal to delta U G. Uh, using that mysterious H there, H being the length between the platform and their head. So in case you didn't understand that, I'm setting the value H to be the length between the platform and their head. That is also the length between the center of mass here and the center of mass where they started. So I can plug it into this formula up here uh, without a problem. So MGH is equal to 1 half K X squared. The extension of the bungee cord is difficult now. Check this out. This is x in here. It's no longer 15. 15 was the old value. x is in there, and that's a mystery to us right now. We can find a relationship between h and x. Watch this. h take away 2, take away x is equal to 25. So write that down. h take away 2 take away x is equal to 25. Therefore, h take away x is equal to 27. Or h take 27 is equal to x. We can use this little bit of working here. So instead of writing x in our equation up here, we can have an, an equation in terms of h. m g h is equal to a half k h take away 27 squared. If we can solve this, we can solve for h. Let's give it a go. The maths might get a little bit tricky. But as you can see, uh, or as you will see when I expand it out, this is now a quadratic equation. So M, 85. G, 10. H, the mystery, is equal to a half. K, 500. 
h square h take 27 squared is h squared take away 54h plus 27 squared which comes to 729 so now i have 850h is equal to 250 h squared take 54h plus 729 850h is equal to 250h squared take away 250 times negative 54 negative 13,500 plus 729 times 250 that's 182,250 Let's try and get zero on one side. Sorry, there should be an H in here. So if I take 858 from both sides, I get zero is equal to 258 squared. Take away, we had 13,500 H here. We're taking away 800. That comes to a total.